Warning, if you are someone who has struggled with mental health issues, the subject matter in this video may be triggering. Viewer discretion is advised. If you have been on self-improvement for a while, and you've actively been trying to level up and become your best self, I am very proud of you, and you should be very proud of yourself too. Keep evolving. I shouldn't need to tell you that I'm proud of you because, you know, you should be proud of yourself. Good on you. But as you continue your self-improvement journey, there's something crucial you need to know. A misconception that many self-improvement YouTubers, at least from what I've seen, have not addressed. And to find out this crucial piece of information, you need to ask yourself, why did you start self-improvement? Was it to get your crush to have feelings for you? Was it because someone on YouTube told you to? Was it because you saw someone living their dream life, seemingly having everything figured out, right? And them being on self-improvement and you thinking that because they look confident, because they look like they have a sense of self-worth, that you could get to that end point by being on self-improvement. What was the true reason? Do some introspection and think about it. And once you find out why you started self-development in the first place, your mindset changes and your mindset towards self-improvement shifts because of this realization. I know a lot of you probably started self-improvement because you felt like a loser. Like if I'm being blunt, a lot of people feel like if they are at a point of being a degenerate and they get on self-improvement, you know, they'll have everything that they want and they'll go from hating themselves to loving themselves. But that's not the case. When you implement healthy habits, such as healthy eating, working out, reading, journaling, meditating, and going for walks into your life, the fact that you hate yourself does not change. Even though these are healthy habits, if your mental health is still bad, these things that would theoretically improve your mental health won't improve your mental health nearly as much if you have a poor self-perception from the get-go. People think that through implementing healthy habits and being on self-improvement, they go from hating themselves, thinking that they are a loser, thinking that they're a degenerate, thinking that they have no value and they're just a waste of space, a waste of oxygen, to loving themselves, feeling like they have value, having a good sense of self-worth, and this isn't what happens. If you hate yourself, you're going to continue to hate yourself. Yes, you may get your dream body, but you're going to have the dream body that you want, right, that you envisioned, and your mental health is still going to be trash. Your poor self-perception will still be there. And yes, it's great to work out. And yes, all these other self-improvement habits are awesome, but you need to do it from the place of knowing that you love yourself, you love who you are. And that is where the misconception of self-improvement comes from. People think that you improve yourself because you don't like who you are and you need to alter and change pieces of yourself to fit the vision that you have of yourself that you've been conditioned to believe is your best version. And this isn't what self-improvement is about. It's not about changing who you are. It's about embracing who you truly are and then using that as a fuel to help yourself become your best version without changing or trying to mask who you truly are. Maybe if you've been on self-improvement, you become more disciplined. You learn to appreciate nature more. You don't indulge in instant gratification as much. You get more attention from the people you're attracted to, your crushes. You're more productive and so on. But if your mental health is still bad, you will feel like something's missing. No matter how much money you get, no matter how good of a body you get, even no matter how healthy you eat, the poor self-perception that fueled you to start self-improvement, it doesn't go away unless you attack it head on. Do introspection and think, why did I start self-improvement? Why did I start this awesome journey? Was it because I love myself? Was it because I saw people online who seem confident and seem like they had a good sense of self-worth and felt like I could mimic that 
by being on self-improvement myself? What was the true reason? You need to ask yourself that. Journal on it. Meditate on it. Think about it. Even if it takes a few days, a few weeks, a few months, a few years. That question is very important. And it will shape how you view self-improvement going forward. Being on self-improvement doesn't result in you loving yourself. A self-love is internal, not external. You may think that getting a good body, getting a good physique is something internal. And yes, though it can improve your mental health, it is an external thing. And oftentimes, the reason why people want to get a good physique is because they feel like things such as that will allow them to love themselves. Though their bodies may look impressive, their mental health still may not be in check. Self-improvement allows you to elevate yourself and make your circumstance better, directly providing you with external security, but it does not directly lead to internal security. And that's why you need to ask yourself why you started in the first place. You should start self-improvement because you want better for yourself, because you know that you deserve better, because you love yourself and you know that you deserve fulfillment. You deserve the very best in this lifetime. Improve yourself because you are not afraid to take accountability, own up to your mistakes and become your best self and do so because you love who you are. So next time you think about self-improvement, think about why you started it in the first place. Did you do it to love yourself or did you do it because you love yourself? That's it for me, guys. Stay healthy, stay safe, stay awesome. I love you all. This has been your boy, Snap Beastie. I really appreciate you guys watching. Please check out some of my other videos, such as the one here and the ones here. And yeah, guys, I'll see you around, man. Peace. I love you all.